afternoon, I'm Chief Meteorologist Sabrina Fine. It's been fairly cool. Six to ten has Southern California five to ten degrees above normal. We'll talk about it on the flip side of the break. See you then. All Four. right. That is on its way. It should arrive by Thursday. When those clouds really put a cap on any sort of temperatures starting to warm up. So we're pretty much dealing with even temperatures across San Diego County for us. But remember, we'll start to notice those temperatures increasing with more sunshine right as we get into Thursday. We still have this area of high pressure. It's meandering right now throughout the Great Basin. Once these cold fronts move through and kick out to the east, high pressure will be allowed to expand over the Four Corners region, shifting our wind direction. And as a result, we'll finally start to see a heat up coming our way. I think we could be about five degrees above normal Thursday and Friday. Here we go with your temperature forecast starting off tonight about six o'clock. Still dealing with those clouds. The upper 50s for the coastline, 16 to downtown, 55 Chula Vista. Inland areas, we're talking about 56 into Lakeside and 54 for Escondido. Now, tomorrow morning, yet again, waking up with some of those thick clouds. Some models indicating there's about another 10% chance of drizzle. I don't think we're going to be too saturated, but if you see a few drops on your windshield, you know why. The other thing the clouds are doing, keeping us a little bit warmer at nighttime. Usually, we fall down into the very low 50s for the coast, but I don't think that's happening tomorrow. You can already see 55 into San Diego for this model. I think we could be closer to about 58 degrees there. So that'll be a little nice uh, change for us. Inland areas talking about the mid 40s and dealing with the 30s out over toward the mountain communities. Now by the afternoon, I think we'll get a little bit more sunshine. Temperatures still struggling to warm up. Only the mid 60s for a good chunk of inland areas. The low 60s yet again for the coast. The big warm up. Are you ready for it? It comes on Thursday and you'll notice these values increase maybe by about two or three degrees. Not a much, but it's there. And actually our seasonal temperature is 65, and I think we could actually see the coastline closer to around 68. Inland areas around 68 into El Cajon, most likely climbing all up into the 70s, though, by the time we get to the later parts of the afternoon. So the cold air doesn't bother you too much, and you're still planning to do a little surfing. Port of fair conditions for you. You'll see your water temperature at 58 to 60 degrees. Coming up, we'll talk more about the wind advisory that's in effect. Jason? The wind advisory that is currently up, uh, that's going to last until around 3 a.m. overnight, including Julian out toward Borrego. Wind sustained 20 to 30 miles per hour, gusting, though, closer to 50 to 60. And when you look at the current wind speeds, you really notice why. Mount Laguna, current wind speed coming in now at 41 miles per hour, and out over toward Acatillo Wells coming in now at around 36 for you. Along the coast, though, where we do not have so much wind, we're going to continue to deal with fairly cool afternoons. So tomorrow, already by 11 a.m., 62 degrees. Degrees. Inland areas are going to wake up with those clouds. It's going to make us feel a little bit more comfortable at about 54 degrees. But once we get to 11 o'clock, more sunshine and the lower 60s. Coming up, we take a look at your seven day forecast. It's happening at around 442, sitting right around 58 degrees in Del Mar, 59 in Sanitas. You can see out over to Lakeside, also dealing with the upper 50s there. These values are a little bit cooler than where we were just 24 hours ago, about two degrees cooler in Lakeside and El Cajon. Tomorrow, we'll flip it and finally be about two degrees warmer. And then once we get through Thursday, that's when we'll notice the real warmth. Temperatures are forecast to be above average Thursday and on into Friday. I think uh, the plane's probably really going to be jealous of us when that happens, because when you look at what's happening across the country, there's actually a slew of snowfall coming down throughout North Dakota, pushing even into Minnesota. That's where they have blizzard warnings that are up. Now, parts of Fargo have already seen up to 10 inches of snow, but additional snowfall coming down until Wednesday morning, one to three inches, gusting closer to 50 miles per hour, making for somewhat whiteout conditions. Then look back over here, the shading in light blue out over toward Minnesota, or rather out over toward Montana. They are going to have their wind chill advisory up. Temperatures are going to feel like negative 20 degrees. Further down south into California, we're continuing to watch freeze warnings that are also up for Stockton, even Sacramento. It will, it will be about 28 to 32 degrees tonight. But those freeze warnings, winter weather advisories out over toward the mountain communities. Lake Tahoe anticipating around two to five inches of snow. Black ice, though, also in the forecast for them where they could see around a tenth of an inch. And you can see further relatives further into the north out over toward Washington. Spokane also under a winter storm watch for Thursday and Friday where they could see uh, upwards of about 10 inches of snowfall in some of those mountains. Mountain locations. 74 Desert 71 tomorrow. Let's look at your 74 cast, guys. Over to you.